How you doing? First of all, I want to thank God, because without God, we won't be here right now. Um, respecting the uh, developer a whole lot, you know, he said a lot of things about the Barclays. Danny was the first man that fought here when Marauders the rematch. And I think Danny holds the record here. I'm not trying to disrespect uh, 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 develop, but I think Danny holds it by a hundred and some people, and then Cotto behind him. So Danny was the first, and when Al Heyman told me, Angel, can it be the Barclays at the time? Or Vega, I said, hey Al, don't take a genius to figure this out. New York City, baby. <laughs> Too many people here. Yeah. <laughs> New York is overpopulated. <laughs> I was like, it, it, it don't take a genius to figure this out. We don't gotta be pinky in the brain on this one. New York City, man, we're gonna kill this. So listen, they've been working out for the Barclays. I love this place. This place been great to Danny. I love these, I love, you know, I love Al, he's my man. I love him, Def. But at the end of the day, March 4th, still undefeated champ of the world, Danny Swift Garcia. You know, I'll give uh, Thurman a little bit of respect. You know, he's WBA champ, but he was made a champion. He became a champion. That's the difference between us. Because when Danny fought uh, Kendall Hall, everybody was running from Kendall Hall, even Khan. They called him the man at 140, was knocking everybody out. I know that's a different division and everything. I understand all that. But you gotta understand when you get somewhere and you did it, when you get somewhere that somebody helped you get there. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna put it to you this way. He is a good fighter, he's a great fighter. And at the end of the day, two white boys and a fucking hippie not beating us. God bless you and salam alaikum. <laughs> Um. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs>